Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is about the Infinix 045G phone. Now, I want to talk about this because let's first talk about what comes inside of the box. You can see it gives you a little you know, thing here. It tells you you got NFC and 4K on the front and rear cameras. Also inside, you do get a case. And this isn't going to like, you know, protect you from these big drops, but it does have MagSafe built into it, which is cool, uh, and wireless charging. And it comes with a screen protector, a glass, you know, kind of plastic screen protector. So it's going to protect your screen. You also get a 45 watt charger inside the box, as well as a USB-C cable. And the cool thing about this phone is, you're, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like holding a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It has these really, really uh, strong edges here. Like this is really wrapping around, right? Reminds me of a, a bigger, more modern Galaxy S7 Edge from Samsung. It's really, really cool. And this phone also is going to be coming in different colors. You can get it in raw uh, black. You can get it in uh, violet garden and moving titanium, which is the color that I have right here. Also with this, you get a 6.7 inch 1080p plus resolution on the display, up to 108 megapixel camera, 12 gigs of RAM with a Dimensity 8200. Uh, you can do 4K on the front and back cameras, 5,000 milliamp battery. I mentioned the 45 watt charging. You can also, uh, we're, we can charge this wirelessly at 20 watts and it has reverse wireless charging as well. So this phone pretty much in terms of like a, a modern phone, phone has pretty much everything that you would want. You also get up to 512 gigs of storage or 256, 12 gigs of RAM, no matter which model that you get. The display goes up to 144 Hertz, which is what I currently have it set at. So it's really, really smooth and also up to 1300 nits and brightness. Now I did do a Geekbench 6 score test, a benchmark test. You got 1011 on the single core, 3339 on the multi-core. So it's fast, but it's not, you know, super fast with everything that it's going to do. Now, just day-to-day -day stuff, it is definitely fast. Um, it's very, very smooth. I do love the animations on here. They're really, really nice. Androidpolice.com. So you'll see, you know, loading up a website, it has absolutely zero problems at all doing that. Um, and the animations are silky silky smooth especially with a processor that's let's be honest not like the the pre most premium processor uh from mediatek but it still runs really really well here we go split screen and then we'll open up this so you can definitely split screen has no problem doing that make the window bigger or smaller flip flop it works great you can swipe down from the top and you'll see your notifications and things like that. Or you can swipe down from the right and you get your quick toggles uh, on here. It does have an IR blaster here. You can see remote control. It's built in to the top of the phone. I believe it's right there. I'll take you a 360 look at the phone. You got your buttons on the side. You got your USB-C charging and speaker and SIM card slot right there. It's a nice looking phone. And like I said, it, it has like in the front, just kind of reminds me of that S7 Edge, but it's a really, really nice looking phone. Big camera cutout. Speaking of the camera, man, this has a really, really cool feature. So if you are doing a, I'll just put this on the front camera here. And if you are going into, let's go to AI cam, this thing goes wicked far out. So I can, I mean, I know it doesn't look like much, but it goes pretty far out for me. When I was taking like a selfie, you see I'm right here. I can pull in, hopefully, yeah, you can probably still see that. It goes up pretty far. I was able to not have to hold my hand out as much to get a nice looking selfie. So it almost gives you like an ultra wide angle, but then it also has these other things for like vlog. So there's all these little presets that you can use for vlogging and, and it'll put things on there for you, like little filters and things. Kind of cool to have that. I probably wouldn't mess with that too much, but I want to show you some samples that I took. It has, there you go, see 108 megapixels. I want to show you some videos and photos that I took with this phone.
right, here we go. A little 4K action, 4K60. Let's check this out with a little bit. My room is so messy. But let's just check this out with a little bit of the stabilization, see how this works well or not. And then also, what about the clarity? I got some pretty good lighting in here, but let me know how you think this looks and sounds as well. All right now we're on the rear cameras again, 4K60, so it should be ultra smooth. Uh, how's the stabilization? How is everything on here? Let's check out Mr. Yongi. Yongi! Sit, sit, sit. Pa? Can you give me a paw? Can I see your paw? Pa! Good boy. What do you guys think? Let me know. Here we are in Genshin Impact. I have literally everything set to high, and I'm just gonna go back here and we're just gonna check this thing out, see how it runs at this setting with the Dimensity 8200. Now just running around seems a-okay. Knock some trees down here. I put the FPS to 60. But yeah, like this is just, this is running really, really well. So you can definitely play this in high settings and, and get some beautiful, beautiful graphics on here. I don't know if I would do it high the entire time. It might overheat. Um, it might obviously in populated areas, it might really, really uh, stumble and start to lag a lot. But, you know, when you, in these open areas, you can really, you can definitely, it's not, it hasn't hiccuped at all really that I can see. It's pretty smooth. Here we are in Roblox. I have the graphics set to the highest. Um, this is just Bloxburg and I can tell, yeah, this one that definitely has a little bit of hiccup. I probably wouldn't, I, you could play it at this resolution and probably be mostly okay and be happy. If you're a kid, you probably wouldn't even notice the difference, but I probably would knock this down or keep it at automatic. Um, yeah, there's just something about it doesn't feel super smooth even in this completely wide open area. But again, it's totally, totally playable. It's not terrible for sure by a long shot. Now the software is, is, is pretty good. Like I said, it's really smooth. It's easy to use. One thing that I don't love about this is there is quite a bit of junkware on here. I, and I did already remove some before because I had a, a video where I did like top 40 things to do. And there was, I already, I think I removed three or four apps at that point. But like, there's a lot of stuff on here that and you can still uninstall it, but there is stuff on here that you probably don't want. Uh, more so than I'm kind of used to. I'm used to like the unlocked phones here in America and those don't really have any um, stuff on there that I wouldn't want. But, you know, this might have some stuff. But again, you can basically remove almost everything on here. I can remove this if I want. Let me see if I can remove the notepad. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff on here that you can remove. There's a Palm Store, all kinds of stuff on here that you might not want. You can keep it, obviously, but, you know, I probably wouldn't. Continuing on with the software, going into the settings, um, very, if you're used to these, you know, Chinese-made phones, they're basically the same setup. So you check your updates right here. If you have any, I think I got one already when I first got the phone, if I don't remember, if I remember correctly. You can see it says Dimensity 8200 Ultimate, 12 gigs of RAM. The other nine is virtual RAM, 108 megapixel camera, 5,000. So it gives you all the specs on here, which is cool. I like that the, the Chinese phones do that. I wish the other phones like here in America would do something similar to that. You can come in here and you can change. And, and again, I have a video on this, which I'll link down below. But basically, you can change the refresh rate all, all the way up to 144 hertz. And there's themes and things built into this. If you press and hold here, you can go into wallpapers and download a bunch of wallpapers. Actually, you know what's kind of cool about the wallpapers is if you tap that and you go into X theme, this is where you're going to see all of... Um, the themes and stuff, the wallpapers and all that stuff that you can download. So I love that they have this store built in here that are you know, free and paid things that you can you can do. But if you continue on into this, you can actually do some cool stuff. So if you go to personalization and settings, there's like AI wallpaper generating stuff and it's really, really cool. Again, I show this off in that uh, first 40 tips and tricks to do. 
but you can take stuff like here, like based off of your images and it'll create something like if I want to go here and select a photo from my gallery, maybe I want this photo and it's going to take this photo. It's going to create uh, an image for me that I can use as a wallpaper or send to a friend and family. And you'll see, it doesn't take very long at all to kind of give it some more style kind of cool stuff that you can do. But that's just one thing you do. You can also just come into uh, here and, and create wallpapers. Maybe you want it to be a, uh, we'll just put it as a game. And we'll just say uh, a pizza on top of a table with two mice next to it smiling while they drink Coke. And we'll hit generate. And just within a few seconds, you're going to have a brand new wallpaper that you can use if you want. That's funny. I didn't ask for a girl. I said two mice, but whatever. And you can refresh it if you want. You want it to generate it again. Maybe you don't like what they came up with. It will come up and do that for you. And you can save these things uh, or download them. And then everything else within here, you get special functions. So there's a lot of customization on this phone, just like almost any other Android phone. And this is pretty nice with everything they have in here. It's very easy to use and very, very smooth. Here's the in this video, sponsored speakers. By Kalami. Let's get into it. What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the Kalami vegan leather recliner, but it also swivels 360 degrees. So if you want to get Spe at the chair, the speakers aren't amazing. They're okay. They get they definitely get by. They're not terrible. They're also not amazing. Now, this phone is like a $350 phone, so it's not crazy expensive. But for the uh, amount of money this costs, you know, it's, the speakers are definitely passable. Yeah, the speakers to me sound a little tinny. One thing I've having, been having a little bit of trouble with is the fingerprint sensor. Um, it, it, it just, you can see, I, sometimes it just does not work for me. Maybe I'm not doing it as long as I need to do it or I'm doing it too long. I'm just so used to the Samsung one, which is really, really fast nowadays. Um, and actually all the phones, you know, have it be a Pixel phone or any other phone. It's not, again, it's not terrible. You see it's working right there, but I just, more times than not, it just doesn't correctly capture uh, my fingerprint correctly. It also has face unlock, which you can see works pretty good. No problem at all. It even brings down that little thing in the middle there at the top. That looks like what iPhone does. So overall, very, very nice phone, especially for the money and everything that you got with it from the screen protector to the case, uh, to the charger inside the box. It wirelessly charges, it fast charges with a wire at 45 watts. It's really, really nice. It's built really nice. It's made of metal. It's super nice phone. And the camera takes decent enough photos and decent enough video. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.